What's up Switch Gang? This is your boy Marlon back at it again here with another video and this time we know that we're waiting on Hero to be released very shortly. A lot of people are saying August the 4th for Hero and so we know that we're getting Banjo but what about the next two characters that is left in this fighter pass here and so I want to kind of go off of my theory as far as you know the next two characters and then I can go over what everybody else say they really want in the Smash community and right now at the top it was Banjo right but for some people they're like no Sora is at the top so Sora now that Banjo is revealed Sora is at the top and I know a lot of people have said in the past uh, they don't think that Disney will allow uh, Sora to be in Smash Ultimate. There's some legal issues, this, da 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 da. Uh, then a lot of people were saying that he got deconfirmed. We don't know at this point of what's going to happen, but I feel like Sora is just one of those characters that, yo, carries a lot of weight. I mean, Sora defines the Kingdom Hearts community, and so basically, a lot of Kingdom Hearts fans out there are saying, look, we want Sora in Smash. And I think that would just be a huge surprise, just like Banjo was, because I was shocked. I was stunned at E3 reacting to the direct and everything. And I was like, oh my God, they just revealed Banjo, like it's game over. And then of course, seeing Hero and seeing Erdrick and then the whole Dragon Quest squad in the game, that was magnificent. But I feel like out of the next two uh, characters, I think Sora is right there. I think Sora just gotta happen. And I just feel like it would just be fitting for Smash Ultimate to have Sora in the game. Of course, his moveset will be just amazing. And, you know, of course, the stage, you know, they can pick any uh, stage, you know, out of the Kingdom Hearts universe and put it in the game, whichever popular one they wanna go with. Uh, I can sit here and pick different levels from Kingdom Hearts, but who knows what's going to happen. And of course, the music. I think the theme music from Kingdom Hearts 3 will be a little bit more uh, suitable in my own opinion. But I think Sora will definitely have a strong chance of making it in. I just want to know what you guys think because, yo, he's at, the, he's at the top of the food chain now. First it was Banjo, but now it's him. Second on my list, I will say Crash, my main man, Crash. Oh my God, I literally grew up playing Crash Bandicoot since the PlayStation 1 days. When it came out with the Insane Trilogy, of course, I literally went bananas. I picked it up day one, <clears throat> just playing over those old Crash Bandicoot games over again, remastered was just amazing. Like I was like blown away. And so to have my main man crash in Smash, I think would just be flawless victory. Like it would just be amazing. His, his spin um, move, I mean, just, oh my God, I can see him just like jumping on somebody's head and oh my God. Like I, I, I can just already picture his final Smash in my head. Like it, it would just be crazy, you know? And I think his moveset will be perfect once again. Um, so I'm hoping that Crash makes it in there. For a lot of people, they really, really, really want Crash in there. I was thinking maybe Spyro or Rayman or any of all those other characters. A lot of people were saying Dante. A lot of people were saying Doom Slayer. I mean, there's so many characters. Porky. I mean, bro, it's so many characters people want. Waluigi, which I'm like, nope, I'm still on Waluigi, is not coming in at all. As much as people harass Sakurai, and we are not deserving another Smash game after this. You know what I mean? I think Sakurai should just pull the plug after this. After this fighter passes up, um, who knows what Nintendo might do. I mean, you know, they know how hype Nintendo fans get when it comes to um, DLC fighters, when it comes to content coming in Smash. And Smash is printing them money right now. I mean, it sold millions of copies. I believe it sold up to, what, 14 million copies, if I'm not mistaken. And so it's one of the best-selling Smash game out of the series. I mean, by far the most characters, uh, the most modes ever, the most uh, stages ever, music ever. I mean, Sakurai pretty much went out on a limb. 
I mean, this man is so like passionate about, you know, developing Smash and developing the characters and, you know, just the, the whole universe, man, it's just amazing, you know, so kudos to Daddy Sakurai. But I'm begging him, please, to put Crash in Smash. I think Crash would be a very good fit for Smash Ultimate. So, certain characters, you kind of look at it, you're like, eh, I, I don't know, man. I don't know if this character would be a good fit. A lot of people want Dante in there. A lot of people are saying Scorpion. I mean, I'm a huge Mortal Kombat fan, but I don't know. I don't know how Scorpion will work. But it, I can kind of tell how he would work, like his teleport through the ground, um, his, of course, his come here. I mean, it, it's kind of similar to, you know, a couple other characters in Smash right now. Um, but at the same time, I'm just like, uh, I don't know. I don't really know about Scorpion. I don't really know about Dante. Those characters are not really most wanted on the list and then again you, you bring a Mortal Kombat character over man like, like that's just like what like everybody's gonna go crazy because you know Mortal Kombat is literally a bloody mess right and that, that's what Mortal Kombat is all about ripping limbs and heads off and this and that um, but anyways back to the point of the matter is those are my two characters that I think that will get revealed. I mean, chances are it might not happen and we might get something, you know, different. Like, it might be a shocker. Um, but only Nintendo knows at this point because all the characters are pretty much decided for. They're just, you know, pretty much holding them back and just waiting for, for us to be wowed out of our minds and go crazy. But I would say, out of all the characters that people have been, and Gino and Skull Kid, all those characters are not even on that list anymore of like most wanted characters. I would say maybe like when before Smash came out, a lot of people really, really wanted um, Gino and Skull Kid and Porky and um, man, it was so many characters like so. <laughs> I tell you, people are just weird, man. So many weird characters people want in the game. And Doom Slayer, and I'm like, nah, 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 nah. I don't know. I don't know if Doom Guy is going to be in there. Doom Slayer Guy. I don't know. I don't know at this point. But what I can say is, guys, I'm really hyped for the next two characters. Honestly, I'm blown out of my mind, you know, how, how far Smash have come and you know how different the game is now and you know the only thing that's really holding back smash is the online now the online needs a lot of work there's a lot of lag going on we also on the brink of 4.0 update and i hope this update really like sink in and fix a lot of the bugs and glitches with the game a lot of the input lag um and i would really like for nintendo to actually fix the arena and things like that um, because the arena the, how they have everything set up is kind of crazy you know and it's it's I don't know it just seems a bit too old school for me I think there should be an easier way for them to set up the, the matchmaking a lot better than that but either way it goes guys those are my two top characters that I believe is next on the list is Sora and Crash. Uh, at one point, I was saying Spyro the Dragon, but I was like, uh, I don't know. I would love Spyro the Dragon. I mean, he'd be blowing fire, grabbing people, you know, move them across the screen. Um, I think Spyro would be a good fit too. I think at one point, a lot of people really wanted Spyro in there, but I think Crash edges out Spyro. And then, of course, Sora as well. Like, those are my two top um, characters. And then Rayman, of course. I mean, there was leaks going around um, during the Smash 4 scene with Artsy Omni, with the whole situation um, of making it seem like, you know, we're getting, you know, Rayman. And so if Rayman happens, bro, I will lose my mind. But there's not a lot of hype for Rayman, you know. And I think Rayman will be a very good fit you know as well and you know being that you know ubisoft and nintendo have a very good like partnership going especially with the mario rabbits game and everything and i'm pretty sure that game is going to get a sequel as well but i'm just hyped guys i'm literally hyped like i mean either way it goes guys even if we don't get sora and then we don't 
get my main man crash it is all good but what do you guys want i want to see it in the comment section down below that's the whole point of me making videos like this so that we can have a discussion in the chat and um you know we can kind of fuel some things up here because we know that trust me after banjo it's on it's on it's going to be a lot of speculations it's going to be a lot of rumors and everything like that so thank you all so much for the tremendous support and also i wanted to put out there that i'm still working on the joy con boys song for etika r.i.p etika love him miss him and i want to um make a song as a tribute to him me and my wife we were working on it right now and um you know we're trying to get it radio quality studio quality good that's why it's taking a little bit of time right now so thank you guys so much for the patience and we're working on a music video as well as a remix as well so stay tuned for that it's going to be epic of course shirts is on its way we're still working on that switch gang boys shirts switch gang nation shirts should be on sale real soon so y'all stay tuned for that as well so thank y'all so much for the tremendous support love you guys joy con men peace we're out of here